Okay. Down here having a quick little sneaky fish and I've got an excuse. We've got hold of a few of the new little squidgy soft plastics that are coming out at the end of the year. I'm going to give them a bit of a run. Alright, just getting the gear ready, ready to go. Just about to put a bit of sand on it. I think what I set my bag next to. It's not deliberately. Juiced up. Get in the pocket. Tight's dead low. I have to go to another spot up there. I'll give it ten minutes. I've got down here the tide way too low for this stretch of river. It's a low low. So I'm going to do is over to around this point of the mangroves where I might be able to cast out into the channel. Slippery. Oh, it is a low tide. Still, we should get just into that sort of six, eight foot distance deep, deepness. All right, I haven't got a bite yet. But, I find this cool bottle laying there, which I'm going to take home. I like collecting things. So, so far today I found a used condom and an old bottle. I think we'll take the old bottle home and leave the condom here. I've got chaos here. <laughs> Line everywhere. Fish on the other end. Come on, get off there. Oh, come on, stay on. I think it's only a flathead, but I only got a few lures, uh, a few of these plastics off Joel, so here we go. Ah, oh, gone. Damn. Oh, he hooked his first fish. Oh, that was just chaos. Probably ain't got a nice fish. I was trying to get the camera end up wrapping the line around the mangroves. While I'm here though, let me show you why I'm in here. This is what we call a muscle bed. And uh, if you look across here, because the tide's low, they can't get in here. You can see that shell grit. They've been in here. Anyway, at least I know the new Shimano plastics work because. Uh, all that chaos come from them. <sighs> Had him well hooked too. Okay. Try again. He's all over it. That was a good sign for the lure though. They just crunched it.
just just go find another fish. Nice one. Plus, on we on the new squidgies. Awesome. I've only got a number number four worm hook in this, a ball sinker. But check that out. The first Parramatta brim caught on the new squidgy regulars with a super bionic rubber in it. Look at that once again. Corner of the jaw. Hey. All right, so we've had, well, I missed the first fish because of the chaos with the camera, but two bites for two fish now. Come on, you're gonna open your mouth? You know, this is the best thing for the customers, is you're gonna get value for money out of this, this lure. This, Wait for this to get out of the way. Okay, well, wait for this to settle to release him. It's a pretty simple outfit. We've got the Zodius rod, uh, ultra light Zodius, with a Shimano straight reel. Then on that, we've got a Small ball sinker, small worm ball, and the new squidgy. Let's say goodbye to you, buddy. See you, mate. Awesome. Okay, it's a simple rig, we got it completely weedless, that, that hook was basically buried in the plastic. One of the things I like about these lures is they've got little dot marks to show where your hook's going, so I've got that pretty well point in. There's a lot of seagulls over there. Go and have a look. One of the old, one of the things I love about Parramatta or the whole of Sydney is all the old things you pick up on the way. There's history here. There's Aboriginal history. There's settlers' his history. There's my history. Simpsons fish trap. Mm -hmm. First test was a success. I'm very impressed with the lure. Same material. Well, that's, oh, that's blood. 
have one. Oh, stupid me, I should have grabbed some more colours. I um that colour there looks to me in the shop that was green. And now it's green. When I had it in the sun, it's purple. Still, the blood worm, the clear. I didn't grow any of the pink, but the, the green, purple, whatever it is, they're all great colours. Oh, let's give you a better look at these new squidgies and how I rigged them up today. Okay, first of all, look, they've changed the material. Super stretchy rubber. One of the things that I've uh, checked straight away was the scent. There's, uh, there's very little aroma to the lure, which is good. Um, so straight away, I applied a couple of different types of scent. I put a crab scent on and a garlic scent. The, the the scents held in the rubber. It's almost like they absorbed it, which is another good sign. Uh, I don't know if you'll see here, but there's three little dots on the top. That's a great idea for the beginner fisherman, or even for myself, because uh, different hooks to sizes, different bites. Like today, I was using a very small hook for a head bite, where they just bite around the meat of the head, basically try and kill the animal. But if they were taking out the body, I'd want a longer one. When you get that bite right, you can use these little holes here as a guide, and make sure you get that same position every time. Anyway, what I did today was I basically just ran a small ball sinker on a, on a small squidgy with this worm hook. I actually used a number four, this is a number two or a one I think, this is just a, a plain one. For the bass I run the one O's but for this I just put him in like that and then I buried this point Oops, too far. Buried the point into the body of the lure. And uh, when the fish bit, the point's exposed. And it twists in the mouth and hooks in the corner of the jaw. And that's that's the perfect hook up, is when you've got that hook in the corner of the jaw, they, that fish is hooked, he can't get away. The knot, the line's away from his mouth is all yours to be had. So, it's got a good plastic, holds its scent well, it, it floats, so on the ball sinker, the reason I had the ball sinker was, for it, it was more up like this, darting and chasing what was on the bottom, which made it a distracted animal. And that's why the brim and the flathead go for it. So there you go, there's the first hook up, and there is a couple other ideas I want to try out. I think it'll be a fantastic perch lure, but as well on the bass. I should probably use some pliers here, but just give you a rough idea some of the weird and wonderful things we'd like to do. This is probably gonna be one of the one of the fun surface lures for me this season coming. Because I can run these sort of rigs like this in it. The whole idea is like the ice jig. The rings in there I tie on so the line goes into the into the plastic. Then I have the hook set like this, you got one that end, one that end. So it doesn't really matter which way the fish bites, either way he's gonna hook himself and he's gonna wrap. Now this lure floats, so it'll just skip cast like under docks and jetties. You get it in all sorts of places, so that could be a real winner this bass season and uh, you also run it with weights as well and then there's just your your uh, internal jig heads you know especially with dyed orange bellies like the squidgy ones uh, that that'll be a winner as well okay do the new Shimano squidgy lures plastics work that's the question and my answer to that is yes yes they do work now are they an improvement on the old squidgies 
my answer would be yes. They are an improvement. The plastics biodegradable for starters. It, it's super stretchy, super strong. Buoyant. They've got it right with the sizes. Yes, they do work. They are an improvement. Uh, can't wait to see them come on the market.